we are watching this young man perform at a very high level. If Had you made him a first-round pick, you're sitting there saying, oh, yeah, he's really playing like a first-round pick. He's, he's living doing, up to expectations. He's living up to expectations. Right. He's really doing good there, right. Bob. But now <laughs> he's a second-round guy. Who's you're Bob? sitting there going, well, you know, he did lose his job to two at Alabama. and he did. It's like, no, 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 stop. This dude can play football. Mm -hmm. See, I, I love Jalen Hurst, but I'm not sure he's the quarterback of the future for this franchise because I'm not sure Howie Roseman fully believes in Nick Sirianni. And, like, having that gap to kind of play around with the fact he was second round, I think that gives him time to kind of like, all right, this is a trial period. Okay. The Eagles a trial right. period. Yeah, the Eagles situation fair. is such that they have three first-round picks in next year's draft. Yes. Right? That's where I was going next. Okay, what so do they with do? those three first-round picks, you, you get people and build them around the kid. Because if I'm not getting, if I'm not getting Aaron Rodgers, if I'm not getting Deshaun Watson, then ain't nothing to talk about. I don't want Russell Wilson. I'm not giving you two first round picks for Russell Wilson. But well, I remember Deshaun Watson was that. the was the rumor also for a while what, there I, connected that's what I'm to saying. Philly. If, yeah. if if I can get those guys, we're having a different conversation. There's nobody coming out in the college football draft that's better than Jalen Hurts right now. I don't give a damn what. Todd McShay say, Mel Kuyper, and nobody else. There's not a quarterback in college football right now better than Jalen Hurts in the NFL. But wait, by, by future, not. do you mean next three years, or are you talking about the next franchise quarterback? Well, a little of both, I think. A little of both. So you're saying Jalen Hurts is going to be the next – he's the franchise quarterback. Well, he, he would be the franchise quarterback because he's there and he's going to be there no, for the next I, several years. I'm, I mean, when I think franchise quarterback, I think guys going to be around for a long time. Well, All right, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll, you've got to start with the next several. I, I hear you. Mel Kuyper's going to join us in the 9 o'clock hour, so yeah, we'll ask I him. What he, I know so you, Mel could attack me. Very smart, very good. And we also have Dan Graziano, who just sneaked in here, hanging out with us as well, right here in the studio. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Good, Alan. How are you? We got your mic on now. Oh, you slip, had all like right cushions walking what, over. What, are you, what did you think, though? I don't know how much of that conversation you caught, but like the idea of we played a little game of quarterback situations. Yeah. But we started it with with Jalen Hurts, and Key believes like not enough people are talking about the kind of season he's had. Are you hearing anything about whether it's in Philly or around the league about his potential and whether or not maybe the Eagles have found their guy? So you go back to the start of the season. You talk about they, they're projecting to have three first round picks. This was Jalen Hurts audition season, right? Yeah. Prove to us that we don't need to use those picks to go get a quarterback. They come out of this year thinking Jalen Hurts is good enough to be their franchise quarterback. Then yeah, I think they use those three first round picks to, to get you know to get him a, a left tackle and, mm -hmm. and a, you know whatever whatever else they need Running right back, pass or rusher a player, right. Whatever. So yeah, I, I think he's got and look, there's a lot of season left. I mean, he could it could go back the other way and and mm -hmm. they could end the season not feeling great about him. But right now, I think you know he's in a pretty good spot. Keyshawn J. Will Max Allen Hunt in for Max, presented by Progressive Insurance. We have Dan Graziano in studio giving us a straight talk, brought by Straight Talk Wireless, no contract, no compromise. So we asked the question, which was brought up, uh, Doug Whaley actually uh, picked one of these teams. Better quarterback situation, the Eagles or the Giants with Daniel Jones? Ooh. Before I give you Doug's answer, what answer would you give me? <laughs> uh, I think they're still, they're both unknowns. I, I think, I mean, I think there's, I think there's less time left on Daniel Jones's, you know, prove it clock. Look, he's going to have a game Monday night uh, where he's got everybody <laughs> or close to everybody. And, uh, you know, Kenny Galladay, Saquon Barkley, all these guys he was supposed to have. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.